A woman recently received in the mail what seemed like an April Fool's Day joke. It was a card she had sent more than two decades ago marked return to sender. But as Boyd Hooper finds out, this is no joke, rather a mysterious case of lost and found. We drop our cards and letters in the mailbox, just assuming they'll reach their destination. Such was the expectation of Lisa Sherwood. Very surprised. When she went to her mailbox and found this. This is the Christmas card that I sent to my friend back in 2002. Returned to sender the card Lisa had sent to her friend from high school. Lisa's the one that's laying sideways and I'm right behind her. Tracy Loglin has saved many of the family picture cards over the years she received from Lisa. But you're missing one. Yes, missing that one from 2002. But I just assumed that, you know, that was a year she didn't send Christmas cards. Tracy assumed wrong. So I opened the plastic. That's when Lisa noticed the 37 cent stamp <laughs> and the Minneapolis postmark. Does that say 20, 20 or 20, 2002? And I'm like, it says 2002. Lisa's Christmas card had been returned to her mailbox more than 21 years after she sent it. So I found our family Christmas picture from that was taken November 24th of 2002. The kids were three and six. And now? They're 24 and 27. My daughter's been married for four years and lives in Sweden with her husband. I didn't have gray hair back then. My husband had more hair back then. Where's it been? I have no idea. A spokesman for the Minneapolis Post Office doubted the card was misplaced there, but where, he said, is hard to say. One thing is certain. The found card wasn't about to be forwarded to Tracy. I figured out that it was actually six addresses ago that I live in that apartment. Tracy. Six moves. Lives in Arizona now. No way they were going to find me and no way that they were even going to try. Call it a mailbox mystery that's doubled as a new connection. Absolutely. Between old friends. Maybe I should mail it to her so she has it to add to her collection. Maybe. Because it's kind of fun when a late arriving Christmas gift shows up in an unwrapped box. Boyd Hubert, Care 11 News. Well, both women agree the card would have been long forgotten had it arrived on time. So they're choosing to view the late arrival as one of life's fun surprises. It's always a surprising to me that the mail gets to where it's going. I mean, the post right. office does such a great job that there's so many cards and it's, letters out yeah, there. Yeah, I know mostly when you do your cards and you drop, you know, however, yes. like a hundred in there, you're like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> right? <laughs>